Rob, aka Anomaly682. Uh, today we have another unboxing for you guys. Um, pardon my appearance, I just woke up not too long ago, so I know I got like bags underneath my eyes and everything, but this is a very, very different review. Uh, well, mainly a very different piece uh, for my collection. Um, you know, as you guys read in the title, uh, you guys know what we're, what we're dealing with here. Um, I wanted something different for the collection, uh, something that stands out a little differently. So I said, let me just, you know, hop on this, on this uh, piece right here, and we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it and see if it's the real deal. Holy feel. All right, let's do this. It's always a great thing when you like, you know, you go to sleep and you wake up to a package like this on your table. It's always an amazing thing. Right, let's do this. Let's see what we got here. This is an authentic unboxing, as you guys can see. I have not opened it prior. We keep it 100 here on my channel. COA? That was weird. Okay. COA was like. Alright. Let's continue. Before I even begin, as always, package to perfection. Shout out to one for that. And uh, we're gonna see what we got here. As always, lots of bubble wraps. Um, I'm gonna say this this figure for last. This thing is monstrous. All right, I'm gonna save that for last. And we're gonna focus on the other things we got going on here. All right. So as you guys know, this is uh you know Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I'm going to admit, at least I have no recollection of ever seeing this movie. Um, what I do know is, is that it's a classic. I think it's probably considered one of the best um, vampire horror movies of that era. So, it's like, let me just jump on this. Okay, so the first item that we're opening is this beautifully beautifully crafted um, bench and it I guess it's supposed to have the appearance of like a cement or concrete bench and that's exactly what it looks like this is uh, you know, as you guys can see very very nice um, accessory piece here it's painted very nicely it's it's textured and it, and it definitely has the appearance of, um, of concrete. Uh, very, very, very nice piece here. So, let's, uh, and let's see what that, what, what this was that fell out of the box as soon as I was opening it. And it looks like right here we have, um, oh, we have a COA. Uh, Ram Strokers, this is a uh, five out of 10. It's awesome. It's a nice, nice COA right here. So, put that to the side. Again, shout out to one. I wasn't expecting this, uh, these Draculas to be, these Wolfmen to be done so quickly. Kind of caught me off guard. You know? So, alright. And here we got right here, we got the, um, we got the base. So we have a uh, base. Again, yeah, this is supposed to look like a concrete ground. Um, painted, uh, well, painted very nicely. But then, let's see what else. This is gonna be a relatively short unboxing. Usually, when I order from ones, usually I have like multiple items in, in the box. And there's a lot to do. There's, Extras and stuff, but this is just a pretty simple, short and sweet unboxing. Alright, so we're pretty much done with all that. Bubble wraps everywhere. 
All right, let's get to the to the main to the main event right here. So as I'm picking up this figure, first impressions is that this thing is monstrous. This thing is tall. It's heavy. Uh, maybe 16 pounds. I don't know about 15. Maybe 16. And uh, let's just open it up and see what we got here. Touch this thing. Okay. Oh man. Holy moly. <laughs> okay. Alright, before I talk about it, let's. I don't even want to touch this thing. The Wolfman himself. Hi. Hi, Asha. That's my uh, photographer. Um, okay. So. Let's talk about this piece. Always wanted uh, a haired piece from Ones. Um, you know, you guys know what I have in my collection. I've done lots of uh, videos and stuff of that nature. Um, and you know, I've always just wanted something um, from One that was haired. And when I saw these uh, Wolfmen, um, initially I was just like, eh, whatever. You know, I didn't really think too much of it, but. Once they got completed and I started seeing people posting pictures of them on their detox, I was like, wow, this is an amazing piece. I definitely gotta, definitely gotta hop on one of these. And I thought this would be a great introduction piece for uh, my collection for a one's hair figure. It's, and it's just a beautiful piece. It's uh, haired very beautifully. Um, one thing that stands out to me are the fingers. Um, I don't know if you can kind of notice them, but they're like, um, you know, very long, and they have like uh, the fingernails with the painted tips. Um, just a very, very nice touch. Um, I'm wondering if these fingers are actually like fully sculpted because I don't know any. They just look. They just look. They just look completely custom. Uh, the feet are beautifully crafted as well. Let's take a look at the feet right here. Really, really, really cool. Kind of how he looks from behind. Um, uh, the color is really, really nice in person. It's kind of more like I got a lot of lights in here, but it kind of looks like he's like a dark bluish navy. It's kind of hard to tell, but I guess when I get him in the knee tops, it'll be a little more obvious. I got a lot of lights going on there. Head sculpt is beautiful. Great paint apps. Uh, you know, the eyes look really great. Got a little bit of blood coming out of his mouth. Um, just really, really well done. This is just a really, really nice piece to have in, in the collection, into the uh, into uh, the addition of the collection. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, set up this figure and set him up in the detox and let you guys see what he looks like. And uh, you know, we'll take it from there. I this is an up close and personal Wolfman from uh, One's Customs, um, and I can't emphasize that this is really an amazing piece here. Um, the hair work on this on this figure is was done very very well. And again, these these fingers, these hands, a very, very, very nice touch to this piece. You can see they're very, very detailed, and you have his feet on a nice base, sculpted to look like the ground. Again, just hair work here. Another thing about this piece, I gotta say, 
is done very, very nicely. Is um, let me move this thing out of the light a little bit. Is uh, the eyes? The eyes look very, 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 very scary. Wherever you get um, paint work here on the eyes. Let's get back. This thing looks so menacing. Um, quickly, I just want to uh, show off the uh, COA. Um, we got here uh, One's Customs Hellhound, six figure, six scale figure by One's Customs, five of ten, signed. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. And then we just have this nicely crafted up uh, cement bench. You know, it's just additional accessory. You know. Pretty nice. Looks just like uh, stone or concrete, whatever you want to call that. Just a really, really nice conveyor piece uh, to go with this menacing looking figure right now. So uh, let's turn this uh, bad boy to the side. This was, uh, I have to say, this was a difficult piece for me to pose. I just couldn't get the the hair exactly the way I wanted it initially. But, um, as you can see, it you know, came out pretty well. Let's turn this thing over behind. Like I said, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair work here. Again, I got this piece because I uh, wanted to mix things up a little bit in the collection. And I think this piece definitely, uh, definitely does that. It's a very menacing looking piece. And um, I think it def definitely is a nice addition to the collection. Let me move this thing out of the light. Definitely a nice addition. It's moving close. Very happy on this piece. It's a focus tear. So, so this is gonna be, you know, just a short little video on this piece. I'm not gonna go too crazy into, you know, you guys already know my how I feel on this piece right here. Again, very very well done figure, and I'm, I'm very happy with this piece as it is right now. So, stay tuned for more. Peace.